you take this charcoal to the man kitchen, she will give you 100 naira. Make sure you collect my complete money. Eh, hey, sister, that, that man that used to buy charcoal for his local toothpaste. He what came about with, him? He came when you were not around and he brought money. He brought money? Where's the money? He brought 700. Hi. Thank God. At least Amam Chuku will be able to resume school tomorrow. Ngwa, run. Run to Amam Kechi. She will give you 100 naira. Oh, okay. please be fast. Okay. One thousand three hundred. So I just have two hundred naira left to complete a manchuku school fees. Thank God. Mm -hmm. Where is the chakola I gave you money since to bring for me? Or do you want my food to soak water? I told you I was cooking before my, my, my fire went out. I I sent my son Amam Chuku to bring it to you to you. You mean you've not seen him? You sent who? My my son. Yeah. So you left your younger sister, Amuche, and sent a boy, a little boy who knows nothing, uh, to bring something for me. Very good. My son will be six years old. He's no longer a little boy. Oh, oh Dima. Please give me my chakola. Let me start going. Did you see Amam Chukwu? He's not yet back. God, it seems I have forgotten the direction to that human house. I can't even find a big tree. Maybe this is not the right way. Let me go back home. I'm tired, Joe. For me to come back now, it was not to go and buy food and come back. Uh, Ajego says she already had her food on the fire when she noticed that, that she had run out of charcoal. She said I should make sure I bring the charcoal I immediately. I dropped the call. I asked him, oh, I asked him. He, he said, He said he knew my house. house. I, I couldn't leave the shop because. Hi, yeah. hey, I'm Chuku. Where have you been? I don't see the auntie again. You mean you did not see a house again? Yes, mommy, I'm tired. Chukubo, you told me you knew where the auntie stays. 
Mommy, I'm dead and hungry now. Um, just, just take care of this. Let me get you something to eat. here to cry every night. Must you? Come, let's go inside. Let's go to bed. It's past 12 already. How do I pretend everything is fine? When I know all is not well. But coming out here every night to cry will not change anything either. I know all is not well. But you have to come to the terms of what has happened and move on with your life. I hate to see you in this condition. It breaks my heart. was still alive. This wouldn't have been this worse. I would have probably left Amamchuko behind the village. I'd go to the city to do something better with my life. Look at me. No matter how hard you wish, you cannot turn back the hands of time. Mama is gone. Anamam Choku is here. You have to embrace what has happened and move on with your life. <laughs> you are a very strong woman. <laughs> very hard working one at that. <laughs> your future is still very bright. Very, very bright. <laughs> you can still marry the man of your dream. I have to cry any other time. I promise. I'll be strong for you and Amam Chuku. Uh -huh. Good afternoon. How can I help you? Auntie, my sister sent me to you. We, we ran out of charcoal and we have a, a customer that is in urgent need of supply. Supplier gets to us and eventually we'll split the, the profit together. <laughs> Just look at yourself. So, you actually came down here to tell me all this rubbish that you just vomited. I don't blame you. Is that your stupid and foolish sister that I blame? Please get out of my shop. 
And it has not gotten to all this now. What did I say wrong? I, I was only trying to. Hey, hey. I can see that you just came here to just to disturb me. You don't want me to have peace in my shop. Eh? Look at you, useless girl. That's how you people just go about bearing children in your father's house. Please get out of my shop, or you want me to push you? What have I done wrong? Nah, no I beg, go, go, go! I shower. I've told the people not to come to my shop again. Haven't I? Useless girl. Nonsense. I'm not. I mean, I mean, give a belly. Eh? I mean, give a belly when they bore useless children, they throw away about stupid things. Just, just look at what I was doing. Oh God, what is happening? Why is everybody trying so hard to put shame on our faces? Why is Ubu has just spoiled the day? How will I tell my sister of what happened? No, I will not tell her. I will not tell her. You only contribute in breaking her down. No. I was told you came to see me. Yes, I did. I only came to check on you to know how you're faring and also the prince. Doing well. And the prince too. Has he called you yet? No, ma. He has not. Since that last time you told me about it. I've been expecting his calls. I've not, not heard from him. He hasn't called you until now? No, ma. Don't worry, he will call you. Okay, ma. Have I told you your husband is coming back next week? <sighs> next week? Ah, no, you haven't told me, ma. Okay, let me tell you now. He is coming back next week. That would, that would be nice. I'll be happy. I'll be happy to see him. I don't know how long my meeting with the Igwe will take, alright? But make sure my food is ready before I return. Not even one second more when I ask for it, okay? Ah, uh, uh, Daddy, mm. have I ever delayed in giving you your food? Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> you see? She's here, your friend has come again. Your friend has landed. Hmm? The more reason why I will remain hungry when I return. Ah, Papa. Uh, you didn't allow me to greet you. Good day, sir. <laughs> I've seen you. Eh? See, make sure you allow her to prepare my lunch, okay? Because I know now you be chu 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 gossip ass. Papa, eh? was it because of that day? Don't worry, she'll make your food before you come back. Mm -hmm. You better let that happen. Go and gossip. Go and gossip. From the evil. Yes. Bye bye, sir. There's a fine boy 
have stopped me on the road today and said, You're beautiful. Like, I was so shy. I don't even know what to do. Mm -hmm. Like, you're not happy to leave that one. That's me. Guess what? What? Guess now. I don't even know what that guess and tell me now. You just try. Mm. The prince is back. No, he'll be back next week. He called you. No, I went to the palace and the queen told me that. Ah. What? <laughs> Annabelle, what is happening? Why are you acting like a child? You have a phone, don't you? A queen with a phone. You have a phone all this while and it's been the queen calling you to tell you everything about this marriage. Who does that? Why can't the prince call you? Why can't he call you for once from America? Like, at least you need older, you need a I don't get it. It doesn't sound well to me. The queen keeps telling me that he will call me. I sent her my number a million times. Okay, ma'am. She keeps assuring me that he will call me. Well, I don't know why he's finding it difficult to call me. Assurance. Oh, you're the egg. Things have changed. If I'm born with Chago, Gone are the days when parents are arranging marriages for their kids. Who does that? You just have to be very sure that this guy loves you. Yes. Let it not be that it's the queen forcing him to marry you. You just have to be careful. Me, you're right. But I can't help it. Ha! Annabelle, you have to hold that for more. He has to call you now. I'm not going to say now. He has to call you. <laughs> Why you guys play without me? It's unfair. Is it why she's born from us? We even ask you to come and join us. I don't make friends with bastard. But am I a bastard? They are who is your daddy. But if you don't even know who your daddy is, that means you're a bastard.
Amuche, what kept you? Nothing. What do you mean nothing? You spent all day out there and you're here telling me nothing. Sister, calm down now. I'm trying, no. Seriously, I'm trying. It's okay, I'm trying. I did not say you're not trying. Go inside, I kept something for you inside. She's fine. But oh, Malicha, after everything I told you about that girl, you couldn't even keep in touch. You couldn't oh. call her, not once. Well, I'm so sorry. Uh, a whole lot of things. I even lost her number. Mm -hmm. I sent it to you three times. You want to tell me you lost it all that three times? Uh, you see, I... I Mom, can we just leave this? Bottom line, I'm here now, okay? It's okay. That girl is the best thing that would happen to this royal family. I trust your judgment. Thank you. Um, your Majesty, Annabelle is outside waiting for you. Tell her I'll be with her shortly. Okay, Your Majesty. Malcha, she's here. So let's go see her. Right, after you, mother. Only my friend. Oh. She came with me to welcome the friends. Yes, ma. Oh. That's Anna, the bride. Oh, oh forgive me. <laughs> Looking at both of them, I was kind of confused. <laughs> oh. Nice to meet you. Thank you. You. You look good. Thank you, my friends. Uh, if everything my mom said about you is true, then you're good to go. Thank you so much, my friends. Angoli. Yes, ma. You have to leave us now. Annabelle needs to spend some time with her husband-to-be. 
Okay, ma. Thank you, my prince. Thank you, ma. <laughs> Okay, bye -bye. Anna, you go to the guest room and wait for him. He will be with you soon. Thank you, Ma. <laughs> <laughs> What was that for? What was what for? A girl I've sent you her picture over and over again. You couldn't differentiate between her and her friend. Oh, mother, mother, forgive me. You know, pictures, pictures get me quite confusing sometimes. And women these days, they do a whole lot of makeup. In fact, what they do right now is plastering, not makeup. Let me go see. But, I like her. You have a choice? <laughs> background, um, family background, uh, homely qualities, and your beauty. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so, with all that put together, means we are getting married soon. Thank you, my prince. I, I love you. you know, I've always loved you. I've loved you right from the moment the queen told me about this. Thank you for accepting me. Okay, right from the moment the Queen told you, you started loving me. I'll be married. Uh, well, excuse me, my prince. I thought we were supposed to be together, get to know ourselves very well. And then? Get to know ourselves. Yeah, angry. I hope you're not talking out of jealousy. What is even your problem? Hmm? I don't have a problem. And I'm not speaking out of jealousy either. It is very clear. This marriage is the queen's handwork name. Don't you have eyes? Eh? How can the priest not recognize the lady he wants to get married to? Even when the queen was trying to make it appear like she'd been sending in your pictures to him several, he was still confused. He was. Get on a code, I can. How can someone possibly marry a total stranger? A girl you can't identify in the midst of the crowd. Does it make sense? Yes, it does. The prince told me that he loves me and that we'll be getting married soon. That is all that matters to me now, not this nonsense you're talking about. Um, no problem, Mr. Badera. Um, I wish you good luck. Thank you. I wish you Buhari. Get your good friends, the beautiful ones. They shall be your traditional mates of honor. While I arrange the, with the woman leader of this community, they all shall be on uniform on that day. I'm already compiling the list of my brother then. Good. The prince gave me enough money to buy things, but I'm very much confused on the material to buy. You don't need to. Once it is a quality traditional wax, any color can serve. Okay, your mind is done. Most importantly, I want traditional entertainers. Dances, good dancers, that will entertain the people on that day. I want it to be a grand occasion. My father is working on that too. So. I trust him again. He's an efficient and reliable fellow. I wish you'd be like him. <laughs> Thanks for the compliments, Ma. Huh? You're welcome.
promise to tell you when you get to ten years. I'll be very sure. Thank you. You're welcome. So where are we? It's my turn to play. Okay. It's okay. Good. A child is a blessing from God. Every child deserves to know the origin of his birth. And now this boy wants to know about his father. How on earth do I tell him? Help me, dear God. It is going to be great on that day. You mean Annabelle and the prince? Mm -hmm. My dear, I wish them luck. Oh. Uh, you wish them luck, I know. But as she sent your material for that, will be. You remember my sister, Vicogo Popam. I'm not part of a bridal tree. Eh? It's not true. It is true. I am not among her bridal tree. What happened? You of all people. My sister. I saw some things that were not normal in her relationship with the prince. And as a friend, I tried pointing them out for her. The next thing she took it to be jealousy. Mm -hmm. That me, Anguri, is envious and jealous of her. I don't know where she got that from. Eh? No, no. How can anybody think that you're envious? You're a very lovable and transparent fellow on this earth. Ijama, maybe you're the only one seeing me in that light. Perhaps I'm a very bad soul. I don't know. No. No, Anuli. No a thousand times. This must be a misconception on the part of our friend Annabelle. Anuli that I know will be very happy for her friend's success and the happiness of her friend. Perhaps I was too forward. Maybe I should have just ignored those abnormalities and move on. After all, it's not my life. But I believe a best friend is the one who will say, I told you. Not the one that will say, I would have told you. It's okay. Let me continue. Your hair. Please don't feel bad, okay? Let me complete the hair. Don't feel bad. What you're doing with my goods? Is this a toy? I'm not joking. If you continue like this, I'll be locking you up at home every Saturday. What's Sorry. this? If you continue like this, I'll leave you at home every Saturday. Sister, I want to start going. Well, it's getting late. I cannot go to the house to start changing. Where are you going? Hmm? What is it? Where are you going? Oh, the palace. For the royal wedding, I presume. So you are aware of the, um, the traditional wedding between the prince and Annabelle? What am I? Dumb. Do you even though you know that the prince is back in the country. So you think I am that naive and out of information, Abby? The very first day he arrived, I heard about it. I saw him the other day when he was coming back on the convoy. Um, whatever it is, just take a moment to come. Oh, oh, see, oh! If you complain one more time, you won't leave the shop. I just want to go and watch. I just want to go and watch the dancers perform there. They said uh, the, those dancers are going to be performing there today. Both you and your dancers. Hmm? When you are done, 
Take my son with you. Are you follow up to drop my channel? Just clean up, clean up. Stole from the dancers. Is it your money? Eh? Where are you going to walk him? Why would you keep an innocent boy like that? I'm sorry, innocent. Innocent. Oh, my then will friend. you shut up? Shut up! I'm sorry, man. So, so, so sorry. I. I'm watching. Jesus Christ, why? Why are you so dirty? Whose son is this? Is this your son? No, my friend. My, my sister and I are selling charcoal to survive after you left her with pregnancy. Excuse me? Left who? Amuche! Ah. Amuche!
are gathered here today for the traditional marriage ceremony of our prince, the next king of this great kingdom, and our daughter, my daughter Annabelle. Now, my kinsmen and I will want you, our daughter, to show us the man who has decided to take you away from us for the rest of your life. Let everyone here today present witness the solemn declaration of man and woman union made today by this sign of God bearing. Now, we here, my kinsmen and I, we want you to locate and show everyone present here who your husband is. That is why.
What is it? Ogini? Mom, you must tell me why you lied to me and played games on me. What games? Where is Ndidi? Where is Ndidi? Excuse me. Excuse me. Did you just ask me that? Huh? Oh, she... She... She, she what? Huh? She did what? You, you want to lie to me again? You tell me. You want to lie to me again? You told me that Ndidi got married and then she left the country, right? That is the truth. That's not the truth. It's a bloody lie. So I want to know why would you lie to me? No, why? Why would you lie to your own son? Why? Tell me, mother. Why? Why am I even asking you? I know where to start from. First, Auntie Philo is going to tell me what happened to the letter I gave to her. And then she will tell me the bloody fool who wrote the stupid letter and she got back to me. You're getting married today. The guests are waiting. Let's allow sleeping dogs to lie. Then we can address the matter afterwards. Please, my son. That marriage is over. What? I will not get married to that girl. To tell the guests to go home. Omalita's problem. I don't you do. Yes, you do. When you were busy manipulating and plotting your evil deeds, I warned you about the outcome. Now it has all boomeranged. My king, why would my son marry from that family? Why? I ask you why. Get out of my sight now. I said, get out! Look at the shame you brought up on me. Evil woman. He will kick you. I don't blame them. We're second class citizens. We're not in the same world. How much I blame you for going there in the first place. Sister, I didn't go there for the ceremony. I went there to see the dancers, worry. No. Sorry, oh. But why were you picking their money? I wanted to use the money to buy Akara. Akara? Yes, the money was meant for the dancer. So I also picked it. So I'm the dancer, I also picked it for myself. Next time you don't pick people's money that is not yours, okay? Did you hear me? Hey! Hey! Hi! The disgrace was the height of it. And I said it. Hi! On a mere I said it. All this would have been averted. That boy has no regard whatsoever for our friend and don't care what can you see. Marriage should be built on love, intimacy, strong feelings. It is called union. Now see, look at it. Oh, one year now, a big time now. I said it, but she wouldn't listen to me. She saw it to be envy, jealousy, and all that. Try! I'm sure everything will be clearer to her by now. Eh? That was not even my business, so my business, eh? Is this as we be with all this? Man? Check me out, ne? Check me out, bro. check um, me, check me out. Even check your fine shoe. shoe, your fine shoe. You know, I never had money. I had to go and spend all the one I have in my saving just to that saving box. Now I broke it just to Chai, get that money. I can understand. to go and buy this shoe. That boy is a beast. He's heartless. Let me don't let me don't say I hate that boy. You would have waited for Anna everything Anna to Bell, be over. Anna Bell, fuck up. He would have waited for the ceremony to be over before he disgraced the entire village. Oh, 
Papa. What wrong have I done? What was my offense that made the prince so humiliate me like this? <laughs> my daughter, you have not done anything wrong. Just leave everything to me. I know what to do. It's either the prince marries you or no one else. Trust me. Ma'am. <laughs> what was his reasons for refusing drink from me? Look, whatever his reason, it is completely unacceptable. Unacceptable! Yeah. See, the prince has no reason not to marry you. Now, I is a game, Ebo. Atakata Abo. I will show him what happens to the ears of the rat when it forces I fire. Trust me. <laughs> My friends will start laughing at me. No. I only will be making mockery of me now. No, no one will ever laugh at you. Hmm? <laughs> Listen to your father. It is not yet over. My daughter, let them laugh. Let them laugh. Their laughter will not last long. He who laughs last, laughs best. Just trust me. You will see what I will do. <laughs> <laughs> I can't quite understand what happened in this palace today. Prince Omelita, can you please explain to us what made you act that way? Father, I am highly disappointed in Mother here. Believe me, I am so disappointed in her. Before I left this country five years ago to study abroad, I had built a wonderful relationship with this, this beautiful girl. Her name is Ndidiamaka from Okoye family in, in Omoazi Kingdom. I wanted to marry the girl. I introduced her to mother. Mother did not like the girl for reasons best known to her. All right? I don't know why. Then when I traveled, mother made me believe that the girl had gotten married to someone else and then she left the, this country. Mother kept on pushing me to marry that girl, Annabelle. Only for me to realize today that Ndidiamaka did not get married to any other man. She is still in this village and to crown it all, father. She had a son for me. How are you sure you're the father of that bastard boy? Why did you lie to me, queen of this kingdom? Why did you lie to me in the first place? Like I told you before, this marriage with Annabelle is over. I'm going after Ndidi, my love. Over my dead body, will you bring that girl into this palace? Over your dead body? Yes! It's fine. Okay, no problem now. That means you'll soon die. What? You heard me. What? Did you hear what you just said? No blood of mine remains outside. If that boy is his son for real, then he'll be coming home to this palace. That boy can never be his son. The girl was sleeping around. I am sure of that. But sister, you said you will not do this again. I am not crying because of my condition. I am crying because of the ill treatment given to Amam Chuko in his own father's house. If the prince hadn't slept with me that night, Amam Chuko wouldn't have been born. Now they are kicking him like football in the same place that gave birth to him. But the prince did not support him now. He did not support the guard. He scolded him. Why did he leave? Why did he leave after all the promises he made to me? After everything he put me through, why did he leave? Destiny can be delayed, but never be denied. Oh no, destiny can be subjected to all manners of trials. Yeah. 
But I don't need of time Destiny will triumph Will triumph It is destiny Destiny It's all about destiny you have come to check if I am dead. Well, I am still alive. I am surviving. I am fine. So it's true. This, this is what you do for a living? Yes. This is what I do. And I am proud of it. When you left and traveled out, what did you expect me to do? Get out of my shop. Diddy, please, I did not leave you. Look, my. Then my... who sent that letter to me? Who sent those words to me telling me to move on with my life that you have done same? Jesus Christ. <laughs> same way a letter was sent to me, supposedly written by you, stating the same thing. That you got married and you, you left the country. I should move on with my life. Me. I mean, I was so surprised when I saw your sister, and she told me I could, I could find you here, and that you were pregnant when I left. Believe me. Wait. You mean you didn't send that letter to me? I swear I did not send any letter to you. Then who did? I don't know. Just leave me alone. Leave me alone. Let me pick up the pieces of my life. Please. Did you don't do this? You have to believe me. I did not write those words. You didn't write those words. Who? Oh. You're back here because you know you now have a son. You want your son back after sending those words to me. Those words that ripped my heart. Same words that took my mother's life. How could you? It, it's not true. I did not write those words. I was given a wrong impression about you. I, until yesterday when I met your sister. You have to believe me. She's my destiny. I'm her destiny. We are destined to be together. What happened to the letter I gave to you to give to Dilemaka when you were returning for Easter break? And who wrote the letter you came back and gave to me? See, Nancy, do not lie to me. Please, don't deny this. Don't lie to me. If you look at me very well, you see that I, I'm not coordinated. You make me do something that you will regret. Don't lie to me. I don't know what you're talking about. In fact, I don't understand. What do you mean? Tell me. Love, my coming over to the States is for our own good. At the end of my five years stay here, I am coming back for us to be officially married as man and wife. My father, the king, has given his word that once I am back from the States, I will be getting married. I know you miss me a lot. I miss you so much too, my love. I gave my aunt an Android phone for you. Get a SIM and call me with the number below so we can always communicate, okay? I love you so much, Diddy. And I just cannot wait to be in your arms again. Oh. 
I thought you said you have a letter for someone in Nigeria. Eh, uh, yes. I'm done. Just hold on. This phone is also for her. For her eyes alone. Hmm. So where do I locate this Ndidi, my love? <laughs> Just give it to any of the mates or guards in the palace. They know her and they know where to find her. Okay then. <laughs> I'll be going now. Alright, I'll miss you. I'll miss you too, my boy. But you know I'll be back in two weeks time. You said so. It's okay. Right, Just take care of yourself. Okay. okay. You have a safe flight. Thanks. Who wrote the letter you came back and gave to me? See, Auntie, do not lie to me. Please, don't deny this. Don't lie to me. If you look at me very well, you see that I am not coordinated. You make me do something that you will regret. Don't lie to me. I don't know what you're talking about. In fact, I don't understand. What do you mean? Tell me. My love, my coming over to the States is for our own good. At the end of my five years stay here, I am coming back for us to be officially married as man and wife. My father, the king, has given his word that once I am back from the States, I will be getting married. I know you miss me a lot. I miss you so much too, my love. I gave my aunt an Android phone for you. Get a SIM and call me with the number below so we can always communicate. Okay? I love you so much, Diddy. And I just cannot wait to be in your arms again. I thought you said you have a letter for someone in Nigeria. Eh, uh, yes. I'm done. Just hold on. And this phone is also for her. For her eyes alone. So where do I locate this Ndidi, my love? <laughs> Just give it to any of the maids or guards in the palace. They know her and they know where to find her. Okay then. <laughs> I'll be going now. Alright, I'll miss you. I'll miss you too, my boy. But you know I'll be back in two weeks time. You said so. It's okay. Right, Just take care place. of yourself. Okay. Be... You have a safe flight. Thanks. Okay.
good? Thank you. Fine. Thank you. So how's everybody? Everybody's fine. Good. So happy to have you around. <laughs> So good to see you. Thank you. Sister, you're getting fat. Oh. Like this? Yes, look at you. I don't know. You I'm have eating. to watch it. You have to watch I'll it. I'll try. <laughs> are you looking bad at all? Mm. Yes. This way? Yes, yours is very good on you. Thank you so much. Eh? Oh. Okay, this one you came, how long are you staying? Two weeks. Only? Yes, only. But I am going straight to spend it with Mama. Not yeah. too fast. You're spending one week with us and one other week with Mama. Is that okay? By you? Mm. Okay then. That's a deal. Mm. No problem. <gasps> no, no, no. Hope you got me something nice. Oh, no, no. This is not for you. Your son said I should send them to his girlfriend. So give it to me. No, don't worry. Don't worry. I will find somebody to send it across to her. Eh? Uh, yeah. Oh, thank God. It's even better this way. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Let me go and rest now. No problem. Mm. his mother. We didn't remember to buy something for that stupid girl. Oh my little. So you hate me this much? Eh? Did you my love? Hey! Well, I am finished. What is this in this stupid lousy girl? Okay. No problem. <laughs> you receive a letter indeed. Good day, Your Majesty. Good day. Take this letter to Ndidi. You remember her? Yes, ma'am. The girl that used to come here with her sister to see my son. Tell her Omalicha sent this letter to her. And he extended his greetings as well. Okay, Your Majesty. Thank you. Destiny can be delayed, but never be denied. Oh no, destiny can be subjected. To all manners of trials, yeah. But at a need of time, destiny will triumph. Will triumph. House. Is anyone in? It is destiny. House. On you. Good day, ma'am. Good day. Good day. I hope we are safe. Yes, you're safe. Ma, I brought a letter from the prince. From you as to your daughter. You can give me a better one. But you're not gonna change my mind. Don't pity my love. Um, thank you very much. You're welcome. I have to go. Okay, bye bye. Oh. Thank you. But I have to read this letter. You don't have to. <laughs> Go and read it. Oh? Thank God. Thank God. He remembers you. Hey! I'm not gonna be like you. And you're not gonna be like me. <clears throat> My love, there is no need wasting your time. 
I wrote this later to inform you that I have. I have found another woman. The, the one I love so much. The one that that has better qualities than you. I I will I will be getting married to her as soon as soon as I return to Nigeria. What? I want you to, to move on with your life as, as I have moved on with, with mine. Please don't do this to me! Don't do this to me! Mama! Mama! I'm okay! I'm okay! I'm okay! Please don't do this to me! Don't do this to me! I'm okay! I'm okay! I'm okay! You're due for delivery. You know what? I need to see. I need you to go home. Tell them of your king's name to see me, okay? So please, nobody's a child here. Whatever it is you have to say, just say it, please. Yes, don't say. Please, don't say. I'm She's fine. Just go home. Tell them of your king's name to see me, okay? Um, okay. Can we at least just see her, even if it's for a minute? No, 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 She's still at the intensive care unit. You know what? I need to see a man, I'm on duty, okay? Okay. Sister, this guy until I'm to come check to come and see him. Fine, yeah, that would be good. Let's tell him to see me. Let's go. What did they say about our mother? What did, what did the doctor say? There is nothing to hide. What, what did he say? Your mother is dead. Oh. 
How can mother die because of him? How could he have sent those words to me? What did I do to deserve such wickedness? I will never forgive him. Stop crying. Stop crying. At least be comforted with what God has given to you. The baby boy. It's true we lost mama. But there's an addition to the baby boy. Who will he call father? Who? His father has rejected him. How do we survive? Mama is no more. Who will take care of him? There is a God in heaven. There is a God in heaven that will help us. That we know. It's true we don't have anybody that will help us. Our kinsmen hate us with passion. <laughs> they want us dead. So that they will inherit all our late father left for us. There is no work for them. God will answer us. Amam Chiku. Ah, ma'am, Chuku. Excuse me, ma'am. Please keep going and attend to your baby. He's crying. Dear Prince Omalicha, I received your letter in good faith. Thank you for using and dumping me. You were the first and only man in my life who also saw my nakedness. I gave myself to you because of the love I have for you. Now you have broken my heart. All I want is to tell you this. My mother died after reading your letter. I almost died too due to false labor. Thank God I didn't die. I am now a mother of a son whose father has rejected. God will judge you. What are you doing here? How many times have I warned you to stop coming into this palace? Yet you will not listen. I have sent my son abroad all because of you. Yet you will let him be. I have found him a better wife. Won't you go to your poverty stricken home and die? I have not come to see him. I know he's not around. I... I brought this letter. I know you can find a way to get it to him. Now leave, get out! Go away! Go away!
They really miss you. Your mother gave me some African food to oh. prepare for you. Nice, nice. I've missed <laughs> it so much. <laughs> it's okay. I'll be in my room now. Uh, uh, Auntie, wait, wait. The, the letter I gave to you, were you able to get it across to her? Oh, yes, I did. She even gave me another one for you. Your lover girl replied to your letter. <laughs> Sorry, I almost forgot. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, let me, uh, I'm in my room. Okay. Dear Prince Omalija, I received your letter in good faith. Thank you for using and dumping me. You were the first and only man in my life who also saw my nakedness. I gave myself to you because of the love I have for you. Now you have broken my heart. All I want is to tell you this. My mother died after reading your letter. I almost died too due to false labor. Thank God I didn't die. I am now a mother of a son whose father has rejected. God will judge you. Hmm. If anything should go wrong, then hold your mother responsible for it. She was the one that delivered the letter you gave to me and she was the one that gave me the letter I brought to you. Yes. I need you to help me ask mother what happened to the letter I sent down here five years ago to be given to my love and Didi. And then ask her what happened to the letter and Didi sent to be given to me through her, same five years ago. Ask her. I don't understand, son. With due respect, father, you are not supposed to understand. But she does. Ask her. What happened to the letters? Your Highness, don't mind this boy. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Excuse me. He shouldn't mind me. Yes. Because what you should be concentrating on is your marriage with Annabelle. The start your shameful display you, you carried out the other day, how do we salvage it? You want us to waste our precious time talking about your five years old nonsense? Stop. Please stop. Well, that nonsense is what matters to me right now. Really? Yes, really. And I found a, a, a wonderful girl I wanted to marry and then I introduced her to you. What did you do? You made sure you, you, you just messed up that relationship. Now, after five years, after five whole years, luck, faith has smiled on us again. Let me tell you this, no matter what you do, a thousand of you cannot stop me from getting married to that girl. Amalisha, you cannot, read my lips, bring that girl into this palace. Because your marriage deserves a royal blessing. Once any of us disapproves of your union with anybody, that union cannot hold. That is what royalty entails. Let me shock you. See that your royalty, Ogaboku today, because I don't care about it. Ndidiamaka, my love, means more to me than your royalty. Excuse me, father. So tell me, why did you disapprove of his union with the said girl? I know her family. I don't like her family. What yes. is it about the family that you don't like?
Good afternoon, Amalicha. Good day, ma. Good afternoon. Who is it? Excuse me. I'll call you when I need you. Who is the young girl with you? <clears throat> okay. Mom, you and Dad asked me to search the hidden places of this kingdom to find myself a beautiful girl I'm going to marry. I came to show you the result of that search. Wow. This is the girl I want to make my wife. Young lady, what's your name? My name is Ndidima. Who is your father? My, my father is late, but my mother is um, Teresa Oko from Umudim Kingdom. She was married to the late Ebenezer Obey of um, Umuakum Kindred. Theresa, the daughter of the famous Pawantaba? Yes, Your Majesty. She's your mother? Yes, she is. The prince must choose a bride from this kingdom, so he must choose one of the maidens of this kingdom. I am worried. He should have chose the wife before now. It is two months the solemn uh, declaration was made that the prince, the next king of this kingdom, is to choose a wife, but he hasn't. Eh? And that all our maidens have been appearing in their best. <laughs> Let him not go elsewhere and pick a wife. Oh, that is my own. That is no. my own. No, he can't. It is the tradition. He must choose a bride from this kingdom. Hello. Uh, excuse me, young girl. Me? Me? You. Me? me? Oh, I'm coming. Greetings, my prince. Greetings, my dear. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Um, what's your name? My name is Juliana. Oh, Juliana. What a beautiful name for a beautiful girl like you. Um, Juliana, I was actually calling your friend. Not really you, but you've got courage. I love that. Oh. You're so beautiful. Thank you so much, my prince. Um, without wasting much time, I would want to see you at the palace tomorrow to see my father. The king. Palace? Hey! Prince, I will come. I would not fail. I will come tomorrow. Tomorrow I will be in the palace. Okay then. See you at the palace tomorrow. Okay. Thank you so much, my prince. Thank You're you. Welcome. Juliana, what was that for? What? The prince was calling me. I ran to answer him when he knew I was the one he called. Okay, see me. Hey, see this one, oh. So for your mind, he called you. Yes, I was the one he called. Listen. So, in your mind, you thought that you have business in the palace. My dear, let me tell you. Hmm? There are some people created for royalty. People like us, take a good look at me. There are some people that fit the crown. People that the royalty look good on. You mean royalty won't look good on me? Not at all. Even your fifth generations, your children's children, none of you have business in the palace. Eh? So you are now God who decides people's <laughs> fate. The ones that are good for the kings and the ones that are good for the commoners. <laughs> My dear Teresa, you know I speak the truth. And for your information, the prince asked me to come to the palace tomorrow to see the father. It's a word, no problem. I wish you good luck. Thank you. Ah, ah. Teresa! But I'm not gonna change my mind. She is 
my destiny She's my destiny Your mother doesn't like me. Don't conclude yet. Are you sure everything is alright? Everything is fine. It's alright. It's, right. it's okay. Uh, let me speak to her. I'll show you where you can wait for me. It's okay. 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 What a world. So after how many years? Realty still seeks her? No. No. My friend Teresa will mock me. Because I told her that her and her generation has no business doing in the palace. Therefore, this marriage will not hold. Never. Not when I'm still alive. You are not saying anything. What is it about the family of the said girl that you don't like? My king. Let's not go into that right now. But the bottom line is that my son is not going to marry that girl. You are not making any sense here. Is there something you feel I should know about the girl's family that makes you want to disapprove of our son getting married to her? Tell me now. Else, why would you stand against someone who God did not stand against? It's now clear to me that my trip to America was a plan between you and my mother. A plan to wreck my relationship with Ndidi, right? Believe me, I am not part of this plan. So how am I supposed to know? So tell me, how am I supposed to know? Why, why does my mother hate that girl so much? Why? How do you? Of course I know. From the very first day my mother set my eyes on her, she, she, she didn't hide it. Mother, what was that for? I mean, that was rude. You've not even met this girl before. You're just seeing her for the first time. Well, even if you have issues with her mother, that wasn't the best way to show it. Come on now. You will not marry that girl. I will get you a better one. And why won't I marry her? Like a joke, but she meant it and she did it. 
for reasons best known to her. I don't I mean I don't know why. I mean, why does my mother hate that innocent girl so much? Why? I don't understand. Why? I want you to know this, Auntie. No matter what it takes, I am going to make that girl my wife. It's either in the Yamaka or no one else. Go tell your sister that. Why all this? Why? The queen? Yes. She hates me. Immediately I told her that I was your daughter. Her counting has changed. She doesn't like me at all. Stop crying. Wipe your tears. I will tell you a story. I was supposed to be married to the Igwe. And be in her position as a lolo. Mother. Mother, you're not serious. I am. Very, very serious. So, what happened? It was the season when the Igwe, now, then a prince, was to take a maiden for a wife from this kingdom, according to our customs and traditions. I and the Lola were the most beautiful maiden. Then, we were always together, always together. Didi. On this fateful day, we were on our way to the stream when the Igwe now accosted us. He called on me, me. Do you know what? She ran immediately to him. When it was very, very glaring that I was a person, the prince was calling then. So, what They happened? spoke. They spoke. And then, the prince gave her an appointment to see his parents. Yes. Really? Yes. When she came back, I asked her, why did she do what she did? Do you know what she said? She told me to my face that the palace is not meant for me. That I have no business in that palace. She didn't stop there. She said not even my fifth generation will go into that palace. <sighs> oh, wait. And did he? Now that God wants to give to me what she mischievously took away from me, Mba, she won't allow it because of pride. People are indeed mischievous. You mean she is angry with me because, because your daughter wants to take what she took from you mischievously? But do you know what? No man can take away the destiny of another man. It's not possible. It is not. My dear, this is my time. This is my time. Not even Lolo can stop it. 
I am very, very, very sure of it. So don't cry, my dear. Wipe your tears. Oh, nothing will stop you. Don't cry. Don't shed these tears. Please. You know? Eh? Just be rest assured. Our God is what? Is alive. It is now our portion. She's my destiny. I'm her destiny. It's very possible that woman is behind all this. But like mother said, if the palace is truly my destiny, she can't stop it. I'm just asking. I just met with. I just want you. going to school. It's I want okay. to go home. It's okay. Don't cry, man. I tell you exactly why you don't want to go to school. If I go to school, my class may insult me so badly and it makes me feel so sad. <clears throat> I understand, okay? That's why you have to show them that you are a winner. Hmm? Don't allow that to get you. Okay? Put a smile on your face. Now I know why she really wanted me to go abroad and study. Just so she could destroy our relationship. But thank God for the power of destiny. I believe you. I do. Your mother doesn't want me to be the next queen. Honestly, I don't know why. I do. You do? So that's our son's school. Yes. Oh. I can't believe this. This is an error. A very big error. In a prince, a royal blood, someone who should live in affluence, suffering like this. My own son. This will end today. My love, please go in there, get our son. He's going to the palace with me right now. 
We we have to wait. No, no, no. I will not wait a second longer. Please, please, let's not argue over this. As for you and your sister, my eyes are on you guys right now. Believe me, your problems are over. Your problems are my problems and I'll continue to take care of everything until this whole issue is sorted out and we get married officially. So please, I'm waiting. Go in there again, Asa. Yes, Your Highness. I have the right to either approve or disapprove of my future daughter-in-law. Don't just disapprove of a girl for no just cause. You have to have reasons for rejecting her. And I've been asking you to show me reasons and you are yet to say anything. I know the reason, Father. Yes, I do. And I'm going to shock you with it right now. Omalicha, you know nothing. You listen to me. Father. Yes, sir. Can you remember the day you met mother for the very first time, many years ago? Yes, she was with her friend. Good. You called her friend, but she played a smart one. How did you know about that? Because the girl in question, who mother does not want to see in this palace, is the daughter or that friend of hers, she mischievously took her place. Julian, after taking your friend's position, you still do not allow her daughter to take back what you took from her mother. You are evil. You will be soon. Father, with me here is my son. Your grandson, Father. A prince. A royal blood. Living in a dungeon. All because of mother's selfish and evil desires. So she has a son for you? Yes, father. How are you even sure that this boy is your son? He is my son. My flesh and blood. This is truly my grandson. Take a look at him. Just a replica of my son. It's the same blood that runs in all of us. And right here, I am terminating that marriage arrangement between the prince and Annabelle. What? It will no longer hold. Thank you, Father. The true marriage is between the prince and the mother of this boy. Thank you, Father. Nonsense. Rubbish! I don't want you. I said, no, come drag you. Abongi bujukwe, Abongi muwa. Annabelle, you can't continue like this. You just have to put yourself together. I was on my own. I didn't ask anybody to come and marry me. The queen sent for me and told me that she wants me to marry. Her son, the prince, once he comes back from this state. I, I, I didn't want to marry him, oh. I didn't agree before. <laughs> and then, she was calling me every now and then. And now, she doesn't want to see me. She doesn't take my calls anymore. <laughs> they have succeeded in spoiling my image in this village. <laughs> it's okay. I understand everything. I do. No, you don't. If you do, you won't tell me to stop crying. You will tell me to cry and cry. The pain is so unbearable for me. It's okay. <laughs> My daughter, you're still crying. You're still crying. Stop crying. It's been three days since the police made a public show of shame of me and my kinsmen. And I've been expecting the Igwe to call me for a discussion, which he has not done. I'm tired of waiting. My daughter, stop crying.
Who crying? You are the daughter of a lion. And by extension, you are a lioness. Ma'am. Eh? It runs in the family. It's in the family trait. We don't give room for weaknesses. The prince, that prince, must complete what he started. Certainly. You don't pray again, he will come back. He will marry you. Come back. He will come back. Stop. She has not stopped crying me. Chai. Do you know that Annabelle have not eaten since that day? Hey. She has not tested any food. Now wow. Honestly, I feel for her. I wish I can come around and share in her pain. Yes, I, I don't know, but even if I try it, she would definitely misunderstand me. She would think I've come to mock her. Go to where? Eh? If you know what is good for you, better remain in this your parents' house. Because. If you go there, they will even think that you're the one behind a heel fate. Huh. I'm not going again, no. Let me just stay in my father's house. But wait, so what is Nze Gabe able saying about this whole <laughs> Hmm, You want to know? Hey, that one. He said that the prince must come and complete what he started. Complete what? Mm -hmm. What is that? Eh? Ha ha ha. Another error. Another error. What is wrong? Marriage is not by force now. Marriage or force. Go and tell them yourself. These people are about to make another first mistake. Oh. Tell them. Please about one about. Tell them. Wow. Tell who? I beg, I beg, I beg. I'm not your, your family member. Ha. <laughs> I'm not your family <laughs> member. Don't even tell. <laughs> In fact, I'm going. Igwe. Their leaves. A very patient deer that normally drinks from the bank of the river. A big elephant came and advised it to go to the center of the river. According to the elephant, the water at the center of the river is sweeter than the one at the bank of the river. The deer replied the elephant that it prefers to drink from the bank of the river because it lacks the capability of accessing the middle of the river. Then the big elephant suggested and offered to take the deer to the middle of the river to drink from the so-called sweet water. Right at the middle of the river, the elephant withdrew itself, leaving the deer to grapple between life and death. Now tell me, Igwe, can the deer learn how to swim at old age? If I pretend that I don't understand your riddle, then I have made myself the greatest liar of our time. Good. Igwe, it's been three days since your son, the prince, displayed that show of shame against my family, right? In the eyes of all the community, I am yet to hear anything from you, not the queen. Igwe. Zegev. Igwe. You are a wise man. Thank you. An elder with understanding. The circumstances surrounding the marriage between my son and your daughter are complicated ones that require the wisdom of the ancient to handle. Igwe. My problem now is where is that complication coming from? I will tell you. I'm only years ago. 
My son had a girl he wanted to marry, who already had a son for him. But the queen doesn't want him to marry that girl. So she planned and aborted that relationship. Now that my son has found out that the girl in question is still alive and that his son is with her, he can't continue to live a lie. So, the prince marrying my daughter now is living a lie. Ekwa? Exactly. Igwe. The elephant did what it did to the deer because it felt it is mightier and stronger than the deer. But what we must know is that there is the God of justice. What goes around comes around. And in this case, justice must prevail. Igwe. I beg to take my leave. You have to be considerate here. What is there to consider? Prince Omalicha's relationship with that girl terminated over five years ago. Nobody was hurt because the relationship was a secret affair. But Annabelle, her marriage with my son was made public. Everybody in this kingdom attended their traditional wedding. My king. My husband, if their marriage is cancelled at this point, the family, the girl, with what face is she supposed to walk around this kingdom? My husband, please, I beg you. Have everything. Please. Have you also thought about the happiness of your son? Oh, yes. <laughs> Annabelle is a good girl. With time, my son will love me and appreciate my choice of a woman for him. And we forget about that girl. Trust me. And what happens to the son she already had for him? I mean, for us. Well, a DNA will have to confirm. I do it. not need any DNA to identify my blood. How many times do I need to tell you that?
is the palace. Okay. My palace, and it's also your palace. Okay? Feel free. Don't be afraid of anybody. Eat anything you want, do anything you want. This is your palace. Okay? Okay. <laughs> Ready to go inside? Good day, Your Majesty. Good day, Your Highness. You're welcome, my daughter. <laughs> Sit down. Thank you. I have heard all that transpired between you and my son. I have also seen my grandson. He is truly my blood. You are most welcome. I will give you my word. You are going to be the next queen of this kingdom. <laughs> Thank you, Father. You're welcome, sir. May your days be long. Thank you. Thank you, Your Majesty. You're welcome, my lord. <laughs> I said it before, make yourself comfortable, okay? As comfortable as you want to be. This whole palace belongs to you. Don't let anybody scare you. I'm here. Okay? Okay. All right. Um, next, I will get you food straight from the king's kitchen. <laughs> Thank you, but... <clears throat> I'm here to see my son, Amam Chuko. Where is he? Don't worry about the boy. It's fine. I told them to go register him in a school today. A very good school. So that's what they've gone to do. They went out with him. They'll soon be back. You sure they'll come back today? Of course. The school is just around the corner. They'll come back today. Okay. But I need to see my son <laughs> every day. I know. I also want to see him every second of the day. <laughs> and, and that's what's going to happen because he'll be living here with us, both of us in the palace. Okay? Okay. Good. But that's not the point now. There's something more important. We need to talk about our wedding. When are we getting married? Um.
before you put something in driving me crazy. Okay, what was the frantic call for? By the way, where's my boy? Where is the boy? Huh? Where's my son? My queen. On our way back from school, some some gunmen accosted us and took her and took her away from us. What? Where is my son? Yeah, I'm okay. Where's my boy? Where is my boy? Where is my son? Why is my Where is my son? No, 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 don't tell me to calm down. Where is my son? Where did this happen? Ojiri, Oji Road. Before, before bridge. My, my prince. Why did you keep my son? Why is my son? Why? Where is the Mamchuku? Why is he? Took, they took my boy. Is that what happened? Tell, tell me. Where did they take him to? Where did they take my son? To so where is my where is my son? Where is my son? They just tell them to give me my son. Where is he? Where is my son? Where is my son? I'm talking to you, where is my son? Did, did you see that? Where is that? my son? Ah, where did you keep my son? <clears throat> Father, Father, I won't take this. I'm telling you, I will not take this. Not from mother or anyone else. What? What is the problem? My son! I have sent the guards and uh, uh, one of the drivers to take him uh, and go register him in the school. They came back without him. He said some men accosted them and I kidnapped my son. No, that's a lie. That is not true. Father, I will not take this one. Believe me, I will not take it. Mom once told me that she's an extremist. If mom is responsible for... Father, if mom is responsible for this, people will see another side of you. Go and tell her to come and see me in my chambers now. What did you say? I said father wants to see you now. Where is he? In his chambers. Okay. The first time I met you, I knew you were evil. I knew you liked to play the first one. I liked you for that. But what I did not know was that you can be evil. Being a queen does not permit you to met out evil to innocent people and think you can get away with it. The only thing I need from you now is to return my grandson unharmed and alive. And I am giving you 24 hours to do so. Shut up! I did not invite you here to talk. I am the only one permitted to talk. And I think I am done doing so. Now go and do what I told you to. Get out! Get out and go and do what I told you to do. Get out! Nonsense. My love, stop crying, please. Pull yourself together. Our son is fine. Nothing will happen to him. I'm not sure he is. We're not even sure. They might have killed him. Who knows? It's not possible. They're not going to kill him. I'm very sure. My love, those men are fearless. They have no conscience in them anymore. I don't want anything to happen to my I, son. I know. I understand, my love. Let me tell you this. If they wanted to kill him, they would have shot him there and then. But they didn't do that. They abducted him. That means they need him to be alive. 
That means they want to ask for something. Okay. I'm just scared. It's I'm just scared. Right. It's alright, you'll be fine. Nothing will happen to us. <laughs> Yes, I did. Those men, how many were they? Four of them. Four of them. And what did they say before taking the boy? My friend, nothing. They just stopped us. Start shooting. What? They took the boy. They took the boy? Hey! And you don't know the direction they went? My friend, I, I don't know. Gosh. Who is behind this? Who is behind this? Get the car ready. You're taking me somewhere. Just you and I. Fast. Piggy, piggy, piggy! Who is behind this? Who is behind this? Who is doing this to me? Who is doing this to me? Who is doing this to me? Oh. suspect us. But now... I give you the pathway that you seek. For the ball is only the beginning that leads us to the end. Oh yes. <laughs> we shall all be glorified with the works of our hands. And at the end, we shall give thanks. Why this urgency in your voice? Smart. I am ruined. In fact, we are ruined. What? Someone was faster than us. How? As I'm telling you right now, that boy is a hostage. Somebody kidnapped him this afternoon. What? I am telling you the truth. I am so short of words. I am so confused. There is fire in my home. Everybody is looking at me. Who could be behind this? That's the puzzle. I don't know. I don't know who did it. My husband and my son believe I did it. And there is no how I am denying this one. Wrong show. Show gone wrong. It's mad that is the point. I don't know what to do. But I want you to help me get that boy out in the next 24 hours. Because my husband gave me 24 hours to provide the boy. <sighs> this whole thing has just ruined our plans. Everything we have been working on that boy and his mother 
could have been carried out in a such a way that nobody so would suspect us. Is, but this one now, I... <sighs> I don't know. Smart, please help me. I want you to help me. Please, let's not just do anything. Help me to know who did dig how deep who did this. In the game, Abo, is not the smart type, you know. Smart, your name is smart. And you are indeed very smart. Do you know I've been thinking in that direction? I want to go back to my shop. No, I disagree. You're not going anywhere. <clears throat> I can't stay here. I didn't tell my sister I won't be coming back. She will be worried. At least let me tell her what's happened to her mom, Chuku. Believe me, my love, it's, it's not the best thing to do. It's better you call your sister, tell her to lock up the shop, pick up a few things from the house and bring it to you. Why? Because it's not safe out there. It's risky. And you are the target, can't you see? I don't want anything to happen to you, believe me. I, I'll just die. Honestly, I'll not be able to take it. Just, uh, no, don't go there at all. Let's just do it this way. You call your sister, tell her to lock up the shop, Bring uh, anything you need, and then she's going to stay here with us until this whole episode is over. Then we get married. <sighs> okay, that's fine. But I... I can't get to her. She doesn't have a phone. How do I go about it? Get DK here. I want both of you to go to that shop we went to the other day. Huh? When you get there, you're going to see Amuche, the Yamaka sister. Tell her to lock up the shop and take you to her house. She'll pick a few things, lock up the house, then you bring her here. Okay? All right, my Good. Uh, but my friends, well, DK is all right. Where did he go to? DK went out to the Queen. The Queen? Yes, my friends. And who did she go with? Who else? Um, the Queen demanded she went alone. Alone? The moment they get back, tell him to see me. I'll do that, my friends. Lie to you. I swear with my late mother's grief. Where did you take my mother to? To a garage at the outskirts of this kingdom. To see who? My prince. A man was already waiting on his car. As we got there, the queen alighted and joined him. Describe the man. I did not see him properly. I, I can't describe him, sir. You're lying to me. I swear. I'm not lying to you, please. You, as we were driving, the queen addressed him. Smart. Smart? You mean the man's name? Smart. Yes. 
That's the only thing I know about him. There's a bad news, my prince. Bad news? Yes. What happened? Uh, my prince, I, I, I got there and I, I saw her lying dead. Yes. Dead? She was shot dead. Shot? Yes. Way to edit, and I don't have a hand in the kidnap of that little boy. You can't tell that to the birds. Your time is counting 24 hours. My husband, believe me, I didn't do it. I can swear to any day to any oracle of your choice. I can swear to anything. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. One good reason I should have shoot you right now. One reason. <laughs> so don't kill me. I'm your mother. Don't kill your mother. I kill your mother because they don't kill your mother. Son, we did not send you abroad to go and lend your unhabitual culture. Please put that thing down. Father, this woman is evil. Evil. She has gone a step further. She killed Amuche. No! I didn't do it! I didn't do it! Then who did? I didn't know, I don't know. I can swear to you, I didn't do it, my husband. I didn't do it, I didn't do it. I don't know, I don't know. How could you be so wicked? So heartless, how could you show so much wickedness against an innocent girl? Why? I didn't do it. Believe me, I didn't do it, my son. I didn't do it. I don't know who did. It's okay, son. Who is smart? Huh? You heard me. I said, who is smart? Smart. What is it? You are under arrest for the kidnap of one master, Amamchuku, and the death of his sister, Amuche. You have every right to remain silent, or whatever you say will be used against you in the law court. Murder and kidnap. Amu. Wait, wait, wait. Annabelle! Annabelle! Come. What's going on here? Hold on! Please go and tell Uno that I've just been arrested. Now move! Quick! Okay. What did you do now? Now move. Easy now! Move! I'm a traditional chief! What kind of life is this? What have I brought upon myself all in the name of love? I... Oh. My love, please. Tell me, please. I'm leaving. The only thing I have gained in this relationship is loss. What am I doing here? These issues will go. Away. It won't. 
It won't. All you have to do is tell your mother to get that girl she wants you to marry and let me live my life. I'm tired. I got pregnant. Lost my mother. Now I have lost my son and my only sister. This relationship has brought me nothing but pain since we started. What am I living for? Everyone is gone. What am I doing here? Don't, don't sound this way. <laughs> There's still a whole lot to live for. Believe me. <laughs> Mom Chuku needs you. Our son needs us. There's, there's so much to live for, can't you see? And I still love you, I love you very much. Like why am I being tormented because of the love I have for you? Why? These are just <laughs> tests of life. They will all go away. Believe me, very soon all these things will go away and both of us will live happily ever after. I can never be happy when my only sister is gone. Oh! <laughs> I understand the way you feel, believe me. But I assure you all these things will go away. Okay? I promise you I'll always be there for you. I'm not going anywhere. I won't marry anyone else but you. I'll be there for you and I'll make happiness available for the rest of your life. Be calm. Don't want to tell me the truth. Speak. I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling you the truth is better. Go on. You better tell me the truth. You got the next set of torture I'm going to give you. I doubt if you can survive it. It's better. I'm a terrible chief. I was on my own. You don't know. He invited me and told me that my daughter should marry her son, the prince. It's better. I was on my own. I was on my own. They faced the date. For a traditional marriage. Still, my own is better. On the day of the marriage, the prince disgraced my family by rejecting my daughter in the presence of everybody. Still, on my own. I was planning, oh, you know, I was planning to take the matter to the God of Justice, to judge between the king's family and my family when they brought police to arrest me. Then I kidnapped somebody I never knew existed and killed. A woman that I cannot even identify if I see her. Still on my own. The prince called me a criminal. They want to kill me for nothing. The God of Justice. Madio, we judge. We judge. Send me more. Is that game? Is that game? Yes. 
the doctors and nurses are working to revive him at the intensive care unit. Yes, sir. Yes. But the truth of the matter is that he's innocent of the allegation. Sir, the irony of the matter is just when I, when I was convinced beyond all reasonable doubts that he was innocent, he gave up the ghost. Yes, sir. I'm there right now, sir. I'm, I'm there. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. They have to be a miracle. God, please perform a miracle. Thank God I was not coming to your house. What is it? Do you want to mock me again? Mock, okay. See, people saw your dad this morning as he was brought to the hospital by the police. I, I don't understand. Where is your father? Uh, he was arrested yesterday by the police. But I'm going to see our family lawyers. So that is it him. now. I think something went wrong. Maybe an accident or something. I, I can't tell. Eh? But he's at the general hospital now. So we need to go there. Please, let's go. That's what I'm here. Let's go. Brought him here today. He's again. Yes, yes. Um, he's a problem patient. I'm sorry you cannot see him. Huh? Auntie knows. Which one is problem patient again? Every patient brought to the hospital has one problem or the other. Okay? I don't understand. He is still under the detention of the police. <laughs> Meaning? Ha! Meaning that you cannot see your father now. That is a lie. You lie. It is a big lie. What about that? that? Therefore, now, eh? You still call your lawyer now. Call him now first. No, no, so please send me. Is that guy's Hello, Barista. It's me, Annabelle. Yes, Barista, there's a change of plans. Come now, now, Barista, please, you have to come to the general hospital now. I don't know what happened. The police brought my father to this place, and now the nurse will not allow me to see my father. Uh, oh, okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, yo. What did he say? He said he's coming. Better. Let's wait for you. Please, you cannot wait here. Oh, please leave me. I'm going to this life and death. I'm waiting here. Also, here. What is it about? I know, but you can have a seat, please. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Commissioner. So what's the problem now? Mr. Commissioner, when anything comes out in the course of your duty, learn to take responsibility. Don't look for anyone to put your blames on your irresponsibility. I am not part of that. Take responsibility for your irresponsibility. What is all this? So I should be blamed for your carelessness. Stupid. She's still sleeping. Yes, Father. She cried all through the night. I had no choice. I had to give her some sleeping pills so she could sleep. I can't stop blaming myself for everything. Don't have to do that, son. Good things don't come easy. 
Trust me, you will be fine. Okay? Hmm. Okay, um, Father, what's your final take? About the Queen? Yes, Father. I think she's saying the truth. She does not have a hand in it. You think so? I believe so, son. Who then is responsible? I spoke with the commissioner. He gave me assurance that they are on the matter. Let's just hope that they come up with something meaningful. Okay, I also want to ask, who is smart? One useless, spineless idiot who doesn't have a hand in it, neither. Well, I have to be honest with you. I'm still having this feeling that mom is responsible for everything. I can't stop feeling that way. The truth shall prevail someday, son. Yes. not supposed to die. No. Annabelle, can you just calm down? We're still working on the road. Besides, the law has demanded for your dad's autopsy. This policeman definitely they will go scot-free. They will pay. Just stop crying. Let's get home first. Be calm. Emily, I just lost the only thing I have in this world. What am I living for? How do I survive this? You will, my friend, and you can. Biko, let's get home. Stop these tears. I understand how you feel, man. Biko, can you not look at you now? Biko, please. I'm going to stop crying. Please. <laughs> I'm not there. It's okay. It's okay. Please stop crying. <laughs> lost him. This is bad. Very bad. I objected to that torture. But that evil woman, the queen, she insisted. Is that what you are going to say to the judge? What do we do? Think fast because we really need to act fast. There is nothing to be done than to submit to the law. The lawyer is already demanding for the autopsy. And that way, he will nail us to the wall. <sighs> Can we suddenly fake your disappearance? Declare you wanted. Just for a few time. We learn every day, sir. Through our mistakes and through our correct moves. I had rather face the law. That are trying to cover up for my sins. It's a lesson I've learned in a hard way. My conscience will at least be addressed. I'm very sorry. Trust me, I will never forgive that woman. Never. Trust me. Oh no, what did you just say? The Gabebu is dead. How? The daughter rushed down to my house yesterday morning and told me the father was arrested and taken to the police headquarters. And he asked her to inform me. Straight away, I called a council lawyer. I told him about it. I also gave the number to the daughter to control the council lawyer to the station. Go ahead, go ahead. The next thing I had this morning, away, was that the man was rushed to the hospital. He was tortured to accept a crime he never knew of. What crime? The kidnap of the little boy and the mother of his auntie. But why would they do Something like that. They can make their findings and interrogations without having to torture anyone, let alone an old man. 
away. I was reliably informed that the queen demanded that they torture the old man to accept a crime he never knew of. What? Even when the CP and the IPO objected to it, she made them to do it. <laughs> Why would you tell the police to torture an old man till he confesses to a crime he did not commit? You are only trying to cover your evil deeds. My king. I was confused. He gave me 24 hours to provide the missing boy. And the only person I thought that could possibly have a hand in it was him. Since after that event, he has been very angry with the royal family for disgracing his daughter. He has been sending threats to the family. So I thought he must have carried out his own threats. I wasn't covering for anything. I am sorry. If I had believed you 50% before now, it has reduced to 10%. Please, my king. My husband, I can swear to anything. I was only trying to prove my innocence. Trust me again, I'm your wife. Please forgive me. For now, you are not permitted to set your foot outside this palace until I am done with my investigations. My king. Now, get out of my presence. I said, get out! Get out! Please, I'm sorry. I killed my own father. I killed you. If that boy wasn't kidnapped, you wouldn't have been dead. You would have been alive for me. <laughs> But I said she don't make an arrangement by herself. Yeah. So I made a carry boy give her. So now it's in the that. Boss. Boss. I think I won't beg you. You could not kill the boy. You are madam, you could not know. Oh boy, shut up, I beg. Shut up. Do you talk? I won't tell you the one kid boy. I won't. Get together. Anyway, see what in the Ashikaya and tell me, say, you get uh, these people ready for not. They call their own foundation, or it's a bit picking, picking, it's a matter, I don't understand. But she said they are own not to carry children, sell for all those people who know football, mm -hmm. all those people who know get care. So, now we think they be that as I hear me, do me. <laughs> 
It's not as if we are bad people. But now the condition of this country, why they make us do these things? We are just businessmen. Eh? Come, come. Hey. Easy. Sorry. This situation of the country is not for their fault. We just want to make some money. not to allow you inside this palace. What is that? I said open this gate. I want to see the queen. Yeah, I you. have an important message for her. Open this gate before I break it. Madam, go home. Nabe, go home. Is at the gate making noise. She says she must see the queen, that she has an important message for her. But I told them that on no account should they let that girl into this palace again. Um, Omarcha, let's hear what she has to say. At least she just lost her father. Uh, tell the gatekeeper to allow her in. Yes, Your Highness. Um, Tell your mother to meet me here, so that we can see the young girl. I told you to give me more time to fix back everything. What is this madness for? What is it? Give you some time to ruin more things? Give you some time to kill more people? Is that what you want? Kill who? Have you gone mad or something? What are you talking about? I did not sleep last night. I've been thinking about this whole thing. How it all started. And it dawned on me. Your selfishness. Your self-interest. Your pride. And your ego have cost a lot. A lot of life inclusive. I want to ask you about your daughter. My daughter? Yes. You mean Annabelle? Is that her name? Oh yes, that's her name, Your Majesty. I heard she's through from the university. She read law. Oh yes, she's through. Interesting. Um, um, she actually made the first class. Interesting. Yes, and um, she's waiting to be called to bar very soon. Very, very interesting. Interesting, Your Majesty. I'm so happy. <laughs> I would like to see her here tomorrow. Tell her to see me first thing in the morning. Hmm. Well, it will be my pleasure, Your Majesty. I will convey your message. Thank you. Yeah. Excuse me. The Queen sends for you. She says you should come and see her by tomorrow morning. Why would she send for me? What kind of question is that? 
How will I know what she wants to see you for? Papa, one thing would have led to another. Why would she tell you to call me? Look, nothing led to anything. I was having a meeting with Igwe. And one of the maids came to me and said the queen wanted to see me. When I finished, I joined her and she sent me the message to you. Okay. What and what did you people talk about? See me see Pande. I know what I'm asking you. Look, my friend, go and get ready and see her. Ah. Asking so many questions. I had your through from the university. Waiting to be called to the bar. Am I correct? Yes, Your Majesty. Very good. Very, very good. I see a prospective daughter-in-law in you. Oh, sorry, Your Majesty. I didn't get you. Wouldn't you want to be the next queen of this great kingdom? Oh, I, I will, but... But what? Everyone in this kingdom knows that the prince has made his choice of bride. Exactly the reason for this meeting. Yes, he has made the choice of his bride, but it was a wrong one. That choice cannot stand. I am making a better choice for him right now, in you. Sorry, Your Majesty. But you're not in a better position to make choice for the prince. I am. I am his mother, the queen of this great kingdom. My son can only marry whoever I choose for him to marry. And right now and here, I am making that choice in you. I want you to be his wife. Are you giving me your word as a yes to that proposal? She wants me to marry her son, the prince. What? Did I hear you well? It depends on what you heard. That the queen wants you to be her future daughter-in-law. Eh, yes, father. Hey. <laughs> yes. I knew it. I said it. So fate has finally smiled on me. Hey! So in my presence, my daughter will be the future queen of this kingdom. <laughs> hey! Game! It's a game! <laughs> but father, yes? he currently has a date. Someone he loves so much and he has taken her to see the father. And so? How do you mean? How do I mean? You just said here that the prince took the girl to see the king's family. Isn't it obvious that they rejected his own choice and chose you over her? Think! <laughs> Me, I don't want. You don't want what? Look, you are supposed to be happy, excited, in fact. You are supposed to be jumping up and down. Do you know what this means? The future queen of this kingdom. Go and bring drink for me. I want to celebrate. What are you talking? <laughs> Father of a queen. 
Oh God. Go and bring my drink. I want to celebrate. But wait though. Just like that. I will become the next queen. Royalty. Hmm. At my words, people tremble. At my presence, people shake. At the sight of me, people bow. Mm -hmm. Just like that. Hmm. This is a rare opportunity. What every reasonable woman should dream of. I can't let this slide off my hands. Hmm. I do not have any problem with the Queen's decision. She rejecting the other girl and choosing you instead. My problem is the person she's making the choice for. How do you mean? This guy in question is far away in the States. He hasn't seen you before. What assurance do you have that when he sees you, he's going to like you? Yes. Because I don't, I don't understand this whole thing. He's the one getting married to you, not the queen. He should be doing the calling and everything. You both have to build this relationship to something meaningful. You're absolutely right. Marriage is a thing of love chemistry between two people. It doesn't matter how you met. What matters is how you see and take each other. Do you understand? So, you just have to do everything right. Do not marry for material possessions. Marry for love. Marry for the communication. You guys have to be close to each other very well. The queen calling you every time to give you information, I don't, I don't, it's not a good idea. Thank you. Have you thought about my proposal to you? Yes, Your Majesty. And what's your response to that? I, like every other woman, will like to marry your son, the prince. Loving him would be the best choice of my life. And it will cost me nothing. But I have a problem. A problem? And what's that? What if after loving him, and it turns out that he doesn't like me? Annabelle. Yes, Your Majesty. We are royalty. We are not commoners. It does not matter what my son wants or what he does not want. What matters here and now is what the queen wants. My son has no choice than to do what I ask him to do. I have sent him your pictures. Anyway, he requested for your phone number. So you're going to drop it here with him. I will forward it to him. So that both of you can start the online relationship before he returns. Thank you, Your Majesty. I really appreciate this. You're always welcome. That was how, in your pride and ego, you deceived me. You made me to fall in love with someone who has no eye of love for me. Little did I know that you sent him abroad to mischievously end his relationship with the love of his life and bring me in as the scapegoat until that fateful day of the traditional marriage you almost had your way but nature has a way of proving to you that you're not God at the expense of my joy My father, he's not home. I'm not here to see him, Zagib. I'm here to see you. Me? I don't know you. 
I know you don't know me, but I know you, and that's what matters. So who are you? All right, let's say I'm a businessman, and I'm here to do business with you. But I'm not into business. You see, I know that, and I also know the pain you're going through, and I'm aware of it. I'm only here to make an offer to you that's going to restore back your happiness. And you to make more money for me in return. Uh, oh, okay. Come on in, let's sit and talk. I don't do business at home. Let's go. See, I can give you back your lost joy, your lost hope for royalty, and I promise you'll be fine. How? Through what I call the elimination method. I don't understand. Please elaborate it more. Good. Now see, the only thing that is stopping the prince from getting married to you is that girl and her son. The queen tried to use a substitution method to bring you in. But that substitution method failed. This is why I said we use the elimination method. Look at it this way. Once that girl and her son is out of the way, the prince has no other choice than to fall back on you. Uh, wait. If I get you clear, you mean killing the girl and her son? Sort of. See, all you need to do for me is sign a document that once you become a queen, you will be paying so 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 amount of money into my account every month for a period of 10 years. And that's all. Hmm. Hmm. I am so sorry to disappoint you. I am not a murderer. I am not interested in this your business. Excuse me. I know she will come back. You will. <laughs> you will come back. For how long am I going to continue like this? Why would the queen bring me out and leave me here at the middle of nowhere? No, she must complete what she started. The prince must marry me or he will never marry any other person. Yes, they can't just make a mess of my life just like that. It's not possible. My only problem is the boy. That boy is so innocent. How can he die for something he knows nothing about? Listen, is there any other thing we can do without harming the boy? See, we can kidnap the boy sell this boy to another country and that way he remains alive and for the girl we know her charcoal shop and we know she's always there um, give me the documents I am in smart Smart. Smart. If you had allowed them be, maybe that poor girl's mother will still be alive today. Her sister will also be alive. And her son wouldn't have been missing. If you had not insisted that your son would not marry her. My father would have still been alive today. Now, after all these lives are lost, in your pride and ego, you expect to sit and enjoy your own life. Never! Your soul is required in hell. Hey, 
my friend. My friend. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. I was the one that called you. Hands up. I was the one that called you. Hands up. Come out. I was the one that called you. Hands up. I just committed murder. <laughs> Take me to jail. Come here. Come here, my friend. If you move, you are dead. Come on. Come on, move. The worst has happened. Uh, and the news is all over the village. What has happened? And what news is all over the village? It's all about yes. your son, Izuna. Yes. The one who just came back from North. My son? Yes, my son. What happened? Where yeah, is he? Eh? He has been paraded by the police as a criminal all over the village with the daughter of Mze Gabe for, for the kidnapping of Amam Chuku, the little prince. <laughs> eh? oh. Hey, this is why I kissed you. This is why I kissed you. Hey, hey, oh no, Igwe, you are a witness to this. Yes, as the king of this kingdom, I'm also the custodian of culture and tradition. I bless this union. You see. I pray that you will be blessed with the fruit of the womb, as many as you wish. You see, and I see both of you as the future king and queen of this kingdom. Love me, love me. Love me, love me. Must 